New tonight, a woman lashes out and attacks a first responder in State College. And according to court documents, a teenager now facing serious charges. Lauren Hensley is live in State College with more on this tonight. Lauren? Well, Marty, according to those court documents, Taylor Fox, she allegedly threatened to kill an EMS worker. And then she things took an even more violent turn when she allegedly kicked a university police officer. In today's world, it's, it, EMS has to be prepared for anything and everything. And you have to always expect that unexpected. And according to court documents at the Blue and White Games, something unexpected did happen. No single call is, is a routine call. It's a Westchester woman is facing a felony assault charge after authorities say she attacked a police officer and threatened staff from Pleasant Gap EMS. A perfectly normal situation, normal call can just change in an instant and EMS providers have to be ready to expect that uh, at any given time. According to court documents, Taylor Fox was being treated at a first aid station outside Beaver Stadium just as the blue and white game was ending. It is unknown why Fox was initially being treated, but court documents say she was behaving erratically. Court documents state Fox resisted treatment, prompting first aid to call police. Police say Fox began crying, refusing help, but was excused momentarily to go to the bathroom. When she didn't return, police say they found her unconscious on one of the toilets. First responders decided to take Fox to the hospital, EMS staff asking for a police escort. She appears to be unsafe. Uh, the uh, training procedure is to be uh, keep yourself away from that. Don't proceed into the scene. Um, let the police department come in. While en route, the complaint states Fox reportedly threatened to kill the EMS staff transporting her. Things took an even more violent turn when they arrived at the hospital. Police say she kicked the university police officer that was escorting her to the hospital. Fox has been charged with aggravated assault and she's been released on $10,000 unsecured bail. Now she has a preliminary hearing that's scheduled for Wednesday. Reporting live in the Center County Newsroom, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.